that I'm going to review coming up soon. All right, coming up like maybe next week. Why do I keep getting all these Bluetooth, <laughs> all these Bluetooth speakers, y'all ask? Why do I keep getting them? Because this is like new toys for me, yo. Like I like, I like playing with new toys. And at the end of the day, half of these shits I'm going to end up giving away or I'm going to end up selling or whatever. I'm not just going to have 30 Bluetooth speakers on deck, no. What y'all cats don't see after the video is, as soon as I put the video up, Somebody from around my block or somebody that knows me personally going to call me on the phone and be like, yo, I just seen that video for those, yo, yo, sell me those. Now, I'm not trying to make a profit off niggas that I know. So if I if I bought the speakers for 50, I'm going to sell them for 45, yo. Because I already unboxed them, I already played with them. So I take $5 off, but I'm not going to, I'm not a crackhead. I'm not going to be like, all right, give me $5. No, I'll be like, if I bought the speakers for 120 I already used them for a couple of days. I already unboxed them, I already made a video on them. I'll be like, all right, give me 100 Give me 110. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll just take a couple of dollars off the price and I'll sell it. So that's what y'all don't see. A lot of times I do sell stuff. But um, at the same time, a lot of stuff I just want for my collection, yeah? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I just want, I like to collect shit too. You know what I'm saying? I like to have different products for different events. You know what I'm saying? One day you come in my office, I'll be bumping music out the monster. You come in the next day, I'll be bumping it off the tilt. You come in the third the third day, I may be bumping music off the jam speaker. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I like I like different choices. That's like going and asking a chick, why do you need so many pair of high heel shoes? You know, asking a nigga, why do you need so many pairs of Jordans? Why? Because I can, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what a nigga gonna tell you. So it's almost like the same thing when people ask me, why do I need so much of this or that? Why? Why not, yeah? <laughs> I, why not? I like playing with new toys. So that, I hope that answers that question for all y'all cats that been hitting me up with asking me that bullshit. Next, we got these, um, what was this? Um, <laughs> this was the Galaxy S5 double pack of 2,800 milliamp batteries. This is self-explanatory, all right? This is, this is not a go or not a no-go. This is a win, all right? This is straight up two more batteries for my Galaxy S5. Now, I've been using these, um, Daikon cases and I got the tilt case, you know, the battery charge case and all that. Yeah, I've been using those. But sometimes I, I just want my phone to be extra thin. So I, I take I just take it and put on a, the one of my um speaking cases. I keep it real thin. Put in that zero lemon case. I've been using that a lot too. Put on the case and keep it real thin because I want to have more phones in my pocket. I can't fit that big zero lemon extended battery or that big Daikon battery. So I've been using this. So that, that product right there is a go. I think it was $20 for two batteries and a battery charger. You can't go wrong with that. That was a win. What else? The flux mob, yo. Now, flux mob. <laughs> I didn't I don't know if I said that or not during the video, but the name of that company is so badass, yo. Flux mob. That sounds like a hardcore group, yo. Like like a tech that like you could have that 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 name could be like a like a, a group of tech gangsters, yo. Flux mob, yo. That shit sounds hard. But the product though itself this is a win. Y'all y'all already seen me. I'm like, yo, what's that sound? It's raining mad hard outside right now. So I don't know but about the Juve. I might have to shut that operation down. But um, this is hard. You've seen in the video when I, when I compared it next to my, my G3 stock plug. Same size, yo. But this is 3,000 milliamp battery. All right, is it dead? Might be dead. Yeah, I never even charged it up yet. But um, my plan is in the future to have my whole crib everywhere around the crib it's going to be these, those five port or six port or seven port desktop chargers everywhere around the crib and everywhere, everything that could be plugged in is going to be plugged in with something like this. So in the case of emergency, at any time, I can just unplug this from the wall and I got a battery charger with me. All right, so I got to charge this up, but this is 3,000 milliamps. All right, so this flux mob joint was a go. Now let's have a quick shot. It's raining mad hard outside. I can hear it. I don't know. I might have to shut the juve down. I might just have to. We might just have to uh, have a juve in the crib. Pineapple Syrah. All right. So let me shut this down for a second. Um, <laughs> shut this down. <laughs> let me pause this video for a second. We're gonna get into one of these products real quick. Let's see what time it is. All right. It's early. It's five fifty. Yes, we turn up early on Sundays. It's five fifty. Let's have another shot real quick. And um, I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all back. Give me about 10 minutes. I want to go smoke a cigarette. I got to hit the head real quick. And um, I'm going to turn the lights on and shit. Clean up a little bit. Clean up a little bit of this mess. And I'll be back with y'all in about 10 minutes. All right? Drink up, bitches. All right, I'll be right back. All right? Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so we back. 
Now let's get into uh, one of these tech products real quick. Let's do a time check. All right, 609. Now, before we get into the tech product, of course, we gotta have another shot. It is Labor Day. <laughs> let's do this. All right, so let's make another shot real quick. All right, so let's grab a little bit of the pineapple. Now, the pineapple Ciroc is a definite go. You already heard me say that. Let's drink up, bitches. Woo! Okay. Let's move this out the way. The first product we got on deck is called the phone soap. All right, now... This is hot right here, right? This is something that you're really gonna wanna check out and I'm gonna tell you why right now. Before we get into it, let me show you the website real quick so you can see where to get it from. Of course, Amazon. But um, let's look, let's look at it. Let me pull up the Note 12 real quick. All right, Amazon.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. This is the phone soap charger. Okay, now it comes in two colors, black or white. This is a phone UV sanitizer and universal charger. All right, so this is gonna clean your phone. And trust me, fellas, ladies, pay attention. All right, this is real right here. The price for this, $63.65, so you're basically looking at about 65 bucks. Now, is that too pricey to clean your phone? We'll see in a minute. You can pause this and read it for yourself if you want, but uh, UV-C sanitizer safely kill 99.99% of bacteria. So that's basically you're going to kill all the bacteria and they got some science to prove it. All right, now this is also a universal cell phone charger, standard USB port for charging Android phones, iPhones, etc. All right, you have acoustic audio amplifier, hear your notifications while your phone is sanitizing. So while you're cleaning the phone, you're still gonna get your notifications, you're still gonna get your ringtones. You could actually put some music on and let it rock out while you're cleaning the phone. And keep in mind, it only takes about five minutes to fully sanitize your phone and kill those 99.99% .99 of bacteria. All right, disinfect in five minutes or leave your phone inside overnight while it charges. All right, 65 bucks for this. Now, Let's read some of this info real quick. I would say pause it and read it for yourself, but it's kind of big so you can't see it. So let's go through some of this real quick. And um, I don't know how many shots I had. I'm going to try to do my best at reading this out loud. Reading out loud is not my specialty. All right. So why do you need a phone soap charger? All right. That's a good question. Why do you need this shit? All right. All the germs you touch, you transfer to your phone. Think about that. All right. So every time you touch a germ, you transfer it to your phone. All right. While you wash your hands, you never wash your phone. That's kind of true. When is the last time? Think about it, fellas. When you're at home right now, when's the last time you wash your phone? All right. Now you already know you be in the bathroom with your phone. You be at the bar having your phone on the countertop. Who knows who was just blowing their nose and touching that same bar? Now you got your phone resting on the table. And what's the first thing you do when you get your phone? Put it right to your ear. So all those germs that you picked up from the bar top, all those germs that from you know from all that fecal matter floating around in your bathroom. Now we don't gotta we don't gotta get into all the science and all of that, but you already know that there's mad fecal matter floating around in the bathroom. That's why you don't leave your toothbrush out in the bathroom. So all that fecal matter is going on your phone while you're playing on your phone, taking the shit. All that fecal matter is going right onto your phone. And what's the first thing you do when you finish taking the shit and you get out the bathroom? You put your phone in your pocket. Now, you don't have to be a scientist to know that bacteria grows in dark, warm places like your pocket. All right, so let's, um, let's get back to this. On average, a cell phone is 18 times dirtier than a public restroom. Think about that for a second, all right? Your phone is 18 times dirtier than a public bathroom. That means you'd rather go eat off a toilet seat before you put some food on your phone and eat off your phone. <laughs> That's ridiculous, all right? In fact, one in six cell phones have fecal matter on them. Uh, you heard me just say that there's fecal matter floating all over your bathroom and one in six cell phones have fecal matter on it. So if, the, if it's you and six of your boys, one of your niggas got fecal matter on your phone. Yeah? All right. <laughs> Germs and bacteria can grow and thrive on our phones because they are always in uh, stored in dark places. All right. So they always stored in your phone. That's a dark place. Ladies, same thing in your pocketbook. When you put your phone in your pocketbook, that's a dark, warm place. And that's a perfect opportunity for bacteria to thrive at. 
all right? While some germs are good for you, the bacteria found in your phone is a type that you do not want to come in contact with daily. How does phone soap charger work? Phone soap charger is proud to be the first and only cell phone charger that sanitizes and disinfects your phone while it charges. All right, so now you can augment your daily charge with a sanitizing process. So while you're charging your phone, sanitize it every day. All right? With phone soap charger, a charged phone is a clean phone. Phone soap's charger inner dimensions are, all right, and they got the dimensions right there, 6L, 375, blah, blah, blah. It can even fit large phones like the Galaxy Note 3. Inside, you will find two UVC lights and reflective paint to wrap, uh, to wrap around to wrap around the light completely around your device. <laughs> All right, so you got two UV lights, basically, that's going to wrap around your device. Okay, where we at? Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. when you close the lid to the phone soap charger, the UV lights start automatically and run for just under five minutes. A blue indicator on the front signifies when the lights are coming on and cleaning. All right, when the sanitizing process is done, the UV lights and the blue LED shut off automatically. You can remove your phone or keep it inside while you charge. To charge your phone, remove the compartment to find a USB port. Phone soap charger ships with a micro USB cord, but you can unplug this cord and plug in your Apple cord or any cord to divide uh, to the to charge your device. Well, you got a Windows phone, BlackBerry phone, whatever one you got. When the device is plugged in, a green indicator light on the front signifies the device is being charged. You sanitize your phone inside with the case or without the case. So now you can sanitize your case also because you got to remember a lot of your cats that use cases. You know, if you put your phone down in the bathroom or, if you, you know, you got your phone out in the bathroom, all those bacteria, all those microorganisms, all those pathogens are going on to your phone case. All right, so you can sanitize your phone with the case or without the case. All right, now if you use a case, we recommend placing your phone and your case inside regularly and removing the case once a month for a separate sanitizing session. All right, so they recommend if you're going to use it with the case, yeah, use it with the case. But once a month, take the case off and do it separately. All right, 65 bucks for this. Now, like I said, this is backed by scientific evidence. And I'll throw the link up in the description. Here goes a link right here for you if you don't know. Here goes the link. All right, Discovery Channel, clip. That's the link number right there. I'll throw it up in the, in the description. I can't play it for y'all because uh, there's no Adobe, uh, Adobe Flash on my Galaxy Note. But I just watched it. That's what kind of took me a little bit, a couple of seconds to, to come back. I wanted to make sure. So I watched it in the room on my desktop. And yeah, you got to watch that video for yourself. Trust me, it's amazing. What they did was they took two phones, right? They took one. The, the dude took like a little uh, Q-tip. Nigga dug up his nose with this shit. Wiped it on the phone. Put the bottom of his shoe. Wiped it on the phone. Wiped the toilet seat. Wiped it on the phone. And took it to a, an official lab. So now when they go to the lab, the scientist there took all the... You know all the cultures off the um off the phone and everything put it in a petri dish and let it incubate overnight now the next day when they came back you had flesh-eating disease you had pneumonia causing bacterias and you had um mad cow disease causing bacterias a whole bunch of bacterias was growing on that on that phone and that's from the dude digging up his nose the toilet seat in the bottom of his shoe so what they did after that is they took the phone soap right here they put that phone and a regular phone in the phone soap and they put it over you know they they took you know they, they they cleaned it took the samples again and came back the next day and trust me when i tell you you got to see it to believe it when they took the, the the next day after cleaning it with the phone soap the next day the clean phone from phone soap had literally no bacteria on it and the next phone had mad bacteria on it so Trust me, you got just watch the video for yourself. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a little. I had a couple of shots, so it might be a little bit harder for me to explain it to y'all. But I'll throw the link up in the description. Watch the Discovery Channel video for yourself. Discovery Channel is one of my favorite channels. You already know they're not bullshitting. All right, that's real scientists, real lab, and all that. Everything is accredited. You want to check that out. All right, so we got the phone soap right here. The price for this, sixty-five bucks. Let's pop this open and see what it looks like. Let me grab my little uh, unboxing knife. Where is it? Down here somewhere? Ah, okay, here we go. All right, so I got the little unboxing knife. Let's see, we got some, some tape on this side. Let's, uh, let's get that open. Ah, okay. Let's, <laughs> let's try the other, oh, let's, let's do the top two, why not? Ah. No beast mode, fellas, today, why not? 
We don't need the beast mode today. All right, so let's pop this open. 65 bucks. Really nice presentation. You get that sleeve look. Y'all already know I like that sleeve stuff. Now, if you look in the back of this, here go the Petri dish for yourself. Cell phones 18 times dirtier than the bathroom. That's ridiculous. And like I said, if you think about it, it makes sense. Nine times out of ten when you're taking a shit, it's not like back in the days. Back in the days, you go take a shit, you pull out a magazine or whatever, and that's what it is. Nowadays, when you're taking a dump, the first thing you do is pull out your phone. So you pull out your phone while you're in the bathroom, regardless of it, whether you're washing your hands or not. And a lot of people don't even wash their hands, but regardless of, of if you're washing your hands or not, it doesn't matter. You're using your phone in the bathroom, you're getting all that fecal matter. Then you go to the bar, you put it on the table, you're getting all that bar matter from everybody else who's already in there. All those pathogens, all those microorganisms, enzymes and amoebas, all that shit. Yeah, I was in biology class that day, I learned about that. <laughs> all right? So you get all that shit on the table and it's going onto your phone. And then you take your phone and you put it to your ear. Now all that shit is going right into your ear. You know what I'm saying? Now... Say you've been at work all day, same shit, you're in the break room at work, you're putting your phone on the table, you don't know what this nigga was doing next to you, right, on that table, you know what I'm saying, like this nigga, he was just finger popping some nasty chick the night before, now he got his hands all over the table, you put your phone there, now you gotta take it home and your kid wanna play Angry Birds, now she got your, you know, your kid got the phone in your hand, playing Angry Birds with the same pathogens and germs that this nigga just had, you know what I'm saying, so it's kinda crazy, and... To be honest with y'all, the first time I actually even thought about this is when I reviewed that Pond case for the iPhone 5S. That's the first time I realized how many germs was on the phone because Pong, they did a nice study too. You know what I'm saying? They did a nice study about germs and organisms and all that bullshit, but phones are pretty nasty. You know what I'm saying? So that's why that's what made me decide to get this right here because I don't like all that nasty shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't like that kind of shit, yo. If it's all that all that organism shit, I don't like that, yo. I know I ain't gonna read this again. I've been doing enough reading, but um our phones are filthy and it's not hard to it's hard, not hard to see why. You see the picture right there? They go cell phone, they go toilet handle, toilet seat, and a doorknob, yo. Now the doorknobs, yo, a lot of cats don't realize, man. Doorknobs are disgusting, yo. You just pick your nose and you open the door. Nine times out of ten, the average person is not washing their hands every 30 minutes. You're gonna be walking around with some of them germs. And every 15, 20 minutes, you go on your phone, checking your Instagram, you're checking your Twitter and your Facebook, you transfer them germs over to your phone, and next minute over to your ear, and then you bring them home to your family. All right, so you don't want to do that, yo. All right, so be healthier. All right? Now, some some germs is good, but a lot of them are bad. All right? You see right here? A little sun. A lot, a lot of things are good, but in moderation. So a little sun is good, but a little bit too much sun, you fucking burn, yo. A, a, little, <laughs> a little bacteria, good. Lots of bacteria, no good, yo. All right, so all y'all cats with kids, especially cats that got newborn babies and all that, if you got one of those, you know, if you got, especially if you're one of those hypochondriac people and you always weren't, you know, worried about getting sick, or if you're just a sickly dude, like a, a lot of people don't have the strongest immune system and you get sick at the drop of a dime, it could be, a lot of it could be because, because, because of your phone. All right, a lot of it could be because of your phone. You could be transmitting unwanted bacteria into your body. You know what I'm saying? And if you got a weak immune system, you're going to be getting even sicker for no reason. All right? So now it shows you how does the UV light, how does the UV uh, light clean? Shows you right here. Pause that and read it for yourself if you want. All right? Now you can charge any phone fits, fits even the large ones. Now, I have already read online that you could put other stuff in here too. Not only phones, you could put your keys. You know, little kids, they put, you know, shit in their mouth all the time. If you got little, you know, little gadgets and stuff that you like to give your little kid and they play with it, this this will fit in there and you can sanitize that also. But trust me, watch that link I'm going to throw in the description. Watch the Discovery Channel's uh, study on it and watch for yourself. When they, when they take those two Petri dishes out, you're going you're gonna to be amazed, all right? So this is the phone soap. Let's pop it open. I know that's a lot of talk. Matter of fact, after all that talk, we need to have another drink. Cause that was a lot of talk right there, yo. Y'all niggas ain't think I know about enzymes and bacteria and pathogens and microorganisms and all of that. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> know about all that shit, alright? Biology was actually one of my favorite subjects when I was in college back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I like I like to know how things work, and I like to know, um, you know, I like to really know the me the mechanics behind shit. I don't talk about it too much, but I like to know about it. So what? Let's have a drink right now. <sighs> drink up, bitches. Ah, 
Alright, let's get into this fucking phone show shit, yo. Because I'm definitely feeling this. And this is the kind of gift, fellas, if you're listening. This is the kind of gift that you give your lady. Alright, especially if you got a baby. This lets them know that you care. Now, I'm not saying that you don't care and you're just trying to give a gift a fake move. But, it, you know, sometimes a lot of niggas, you know, whatever. I ain't gonna, I don't even gonna touch that. <laughs> a lot of niggas don't be caring, but whatever. You got all your side pieces, all your side chicks and all that. You don't really care too much. But for all my real men out there, you care about your woman, you want her to be safe, you care about your kids and you want them to be safe. You come home with a gift like this. This lets the person know that you love them and you want them to live. All right, so, fellas, when you buy this for your girl, you hit her with the, yo, look, this is not just a phone charger. This is a phone sanitizer, all right? I want you to keep your phone clean so this way you don't get sick. I don't get sick. The baby don't get sick. You know what I'm saying? Nobody don't get sick around here. We all want to live long. We all want to. We all want to live forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna happen, but we all want to live as long as we can. So let's get a phone soap, put it in the house. Maybe every other day you sanitize your phone. I sanitize mine, and this way we don't be just spreading all this bullshit germs back and forth to each other. And trust me, ladies like it when you think about them. <laughs> that's what that. That's something I've learned over the years that girls like when you think about them, <laughs> and when you want them to live here. Ladies, hit me up in the comment. Do you, do you do you like it when your man thinks about you or not? Let me know. All right, when you pop this open, <laughs> a little bit of fucking foam inside. All right, whatever. All right, now you get the foam soap. Let's just make sure, see what else you got in here. Okay, a smell test. You know, plastic shit. All right, this is the uh, wall charger, AC wall charger. Okay. I thought it came with a micro USB charger too. Guess not, yeah. All right, that's kind of a chip, but whatever. No micro USB charger. Now, meanwhile, I thought it came with a micro USB charger. I thought it said that, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's get a zoom in on this a little bit. Okay, so now, this is the back of the device. This is the front. You have a little phone soap charging symbol on it. On the bottom, you got these four little rubber grips this will keep it in place let's pop it open and see what's inside maybe there's a charger inside let's see maybe there's a cable inside let's see okay inside you got some more foam file that now you got your detailed instructions pause this and read it for yourself okay so you got your detailed instructions step one lift open the lid place the phone inside plug the charge cable in close the lid feel happy no sickness and then get your bullhorn out <laughs> and share the happiness. All right, so you got your FCC statement. Uh, whatever. Bullshit. I'm still mad. I thought they... Let me just double check that box. That's that bullshit, yo. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I thought it said it had one of those. Whatever. I happen to have one of these, so I ain't too mad, but whatever. Now, inside, you can see there's one UV light on the bottom and one UV light at the top. All right, so this is cleaning with, with UV lights. Now, let me plug this in real quick. And um, let's actually make sure this works before we give it the official seal of approval. We got to make sure the shit works. Because sometimes some shit don't be working. You know what I'm saying? So we plug this in the back. Bong, just like that. Now, a lot of y'all cats been hitting me up. Y'all don't know what bong means, you know? <laughs> but <laughs> that's a universal word right there, bong. Yeah? When you do something that's hardcore, you be like, bong. Right, so let's throw this in there. Okay. Okay, so now it's plugged in. You see the blue light come on. There we have it. Now, let me grab. I got a small USB cable right here. This is the Daikon car charger too. This this actually works. Alright, this actually definitely works. I had it in my girl's car. That's why I just that's why I got it right here, because I took it out of her car. Cause she don't, she wasn't using it enough, so I said, "Fuck it, let me get that back." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's plug this in and see how this works now. Inside, there's supposed to be a way that you could charge your phone up at the same time. Let us find out, fellas. Do I gotta take it to the book, or can we figure this shit out like a couple of real men? I don't know. I might have to pause it and take it to the book real quick. But uh, let's see. In the meantime, cause you gotta, you, you gotta charge your phone at the same time. Let me, let me find out I got the, the bootleg version. Let's just see, though. Let's see. All right, now, when you close this, <laughs> let's drop a phone in here real quick and see. Just for size comparison, because if the Galaxy Note will fit, then anything will fit. You know what I'm saying? So let's drop a Galaxy Note in here. 
Okay, so the Galaxy Note fits in here, no problem. All right, so let's close it up. And that's it. Now, this is supposed to turn green when it's finished charging. Like when it's finished doing the uh, sanitation, it's supposed to turn green. All right, now let's look around. Let's make sure I didn't miss nothing. Now, you can still play your music and all that while it's in here. But uh, where's that charging port? All right, fellas, I'm going to have to pause the video real quick because I'm a little bit tipsy. All right, it is what it is. I'm going to pause the video real quick because if you look in the diagram, let's... let's Let's pull up the diagram real quick. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just talking shit. Maybe I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm missing something. Yep. But it says uh, cell phone charger, standard USB port for charging Android phones. Okay. So it's supposed to do. It's supposed to charge your Android phones. All right. So I'm gonna pause the video. I'll be right back in a second. I'm gonna take it to the book. As much as I hate to do it, but um, I don't want to sell y'all short. So I'll be right back. 